We're back at it with another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. This time headed into a spot that I get asked pretty often to check out here in Southern California and it's none other than the original Tommy's. So stay tuned because their double cheeseburger with world famous chilies up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey, how you doing? You know, Peep This Out, can I just go for a double cheeseburger and that's it? I'm sorry? Oh yeah, everything else is good. Okay, thank you. You know, I haven't been to Tommy's in over 10 plus years. This is gonna feel like a whole brand new experience for me right now. Heck, it already does. Awesome, thank you, man. All right, I appreciate you, brother, thank you. Stay frosty, we'll see ya. All right, guys, let's peep this out. Since 1946, and for the first time here on the channel, here we go with the original Tommy's Double Cheeseburger. And this is already not disappointing in the chili department, guys. You'd be hard-pressed to tell me there's actually burger meat in this. There's a sizable amount of their world-famous chili on display right here. So let's pop this sizable fresh bun and take a look underneath it. And obviously what you guys are seeing there is what they call a beefsteak tomato slice. We've got plenty of pickles, we've got some chopped onions, we've got some mustard. And I gotta say, this is actually looking really nice just to set it off for the color. But that's all sitting on top of two 100% all-beef patties. And I'm actually liking that, guys. You can kind of see that it's in there, supposedly separated with cheese. But guys, there's so much world-famous chili on this, you'd be hard-pressed to tell me that there's meat in here. Like I told you earlier, this looks really insane. So yeah, guys, I gotta be real careful with this one in the car. There is plenty of that world-famous chili on the bottom of this one. And actually, you can kind of see the burger patties kind of peeking out right over there. But let's just give this a shot, guys. I'm very impressed with the appearance of this one and the weight of it. This thing is pretty hefty in my hand right now. For a little under five bucks, that's not a bad deal. Here we go, it's my first time going in on the all new for me anyway, because it's been so long. It's the original Tommy's double cheeseburger. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. All right, first things first, the grease is real on this right now, guys. I mean, the flavor instantly gets you right when you bite into this one there. It's got just the right amount of saltiness. It's not crazy over the top, but the nice beefy flavor from the chili is an easy standout. The world famous chili here, obviously, it's got that name for a reason. A lot of places throw that around, but this is legit, guys. It really is pretty awesome. And honestly, it complements the two beef patties that I bit into with that one. And I got a sizable amount of the onions and some pickles, guys. And again, the pickles, they're not super thick, but I am digging these. These really add some overall deliciousness to the overall package with this one. But so far, guys, not even the tomato I'm tasting with this one, which is fairly thick, but all the flavor of the chili is really going for it. This is pretty banging. All right, let me open this one up a little bit more for you and I'll give you the close-up because you're gonna wanna take a look at the inside of this one. Hang on. Mm. So there are the two 100% all beef patties that are leaning back in the cut, guys. They were hiding under all the chili in this one here, but as you can see, they're fairly value sized, not overly juicy, but the flavor from the chili is what's adding the moisture to everything here. As you can see, we've got in the very top, we've got the pickles, the tomato, the onions, the mustard, the cheese. This really is very decadent right now. And like I said, the delivery system to get this into my face right now with that fresh bun is lighting this one up in the flavor department. This is really, really tasty. Oh, and did I mention it was greasy? Guys, you can't go in on a chili burger and not have some type of orange somewhere on the bun because that is the legitness right there. As you can see, the creaminess of everything is really on showcase there, the mixture of the cheese with it. And again, one more shot of all the beef in this one here. This is really tasty. And again, the heft is real. This is pretty big right now. Let's go for a few more bites. Oh yeah, the mustard's coming through right there. Nice touch with that, really is. Man, this is crazy. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not even tasting the tomato at all. And it's a fairly thick cut of tomato on this one, what they're calling a beefsteak tomato. It's more like a filet the way that it looks actually. But the thickness is adding a little bit overall to what you're seeing here. But guys, the quality of the chili is what's standing out. It's got just the right amount of beefiness, the saltiness. And again, it's got the greasiness. It's got the grease factor. I'm so glad that I've got plenty of burger diapers around me here right now. You don't even want to see what's around me literally. Tons of napkins right now. I got to get myself a car tray. I don't know. But guys, let's go for another bite on this one. This is really something delicious right now. And I gotta say, please accept my humble apologies for waiting so long to do this. I'm so glad that I finally have this on the channel. This is super, super delicious. A couple more bites and then we'll wrap this one up. But guys, very, very tasty. If you guys are in Southern Cali, you need to be jumping on over to give this a shot. And again, I'm sorry I waited so long. Let's go. Man, you know, I was really into this burger literally after the first bite, but now that I'm about halfway into it, I'm enjoying it that much more. I may have to swing on back to try some other stuff on the menu. And now that I think about it, if you guys want to see the chili cheese fries here on the channel, 
Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to check those out there. I'm kind of curious about them myself. So let me know down below if that's something you think you'd like to see. But guys, I'm so glad to have given this one a shot right now. It's crazy delicious as I'm getting further in, like I said. Let's go for one more bite. We'll close this one out after the rating, and then we'll wrap this one up. This is an easy recommendation. Hang on. All right, so let me try and do this as careful as possible here. I'm going to try and give you a shot of the back of this one here, guys, because there is plenty of chili on display here as well. Look at this, guys. It's crazy. A lot of goodness here. As you can see, they do it really well over here at the Original Tommy's. They're world famous for a reason, and their chili really stands out. The thinness of the meat patties is the only thing, naturally, but together with everything else here, it works extremely well, and I'm definitely digging the mustard and pickle combination with those chopped onions. And again, no tomato in sight flavor-wise, but overall, I am really loving what I got here, guys. Really good. So jumping right to the rating, I'm gonna have to give the double cheeseburger here at the Original Tommy's a rock solid nine out of 10. And I gotta be honest, guys, the main showpiece for this one is easily gonna be the world famous chili. The beef was just decent on it. I couldn't really taste the cheese at all. It really was the flavor of the chili itself. And that really is the main thing with that, along with the crunchiness of the veggies on that as well. So for me personally, I think had I gotten maybe the quarter pound version of the burger, that would have been a little bit better. But guys, it was very hard to manage here in the car considering what I got. And again, given how plentiful the chili was on that, I'm not hating on it at all because the flavor was pretty awesome on it guys and again a very sizable double cheeseburger with a whole bunch of chili thrown into the mix just a lovely situation and super fun to finally do here on the channel for you all right so i've got one basic question for you if you ever get a chili burger do you actually put cheese on it i mean do you actually taste the cheese well that's actually two questions but you get my drift right drop some comments down below and definitely let me know and with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. World famous chili from the original Tommy's. If I can make one suggestion for you, if you give this one a shot, make sure you get a fork. Just saying. All right guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews, but just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.